where I, I got, I did all the quests, even the hidden quests. I got all the treasure chests. I got all the books. I, 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 I consider that 100% for that game. Um, where am I supposed to go now? Uh, we need to go to the Wolf Fort. And just to check, there's no new quests, right? Alright. Wolf Fort, I believe, is this way. Oh, I didn't rest. That's very important that I do that. You think one of the reasons you have such a problem doing RPGs on stream, or you think it's one of the reasons you have an issue with that? 200. You end up just doing uh, more hunting for everything than playing the game. Well, I mean, nothing wrong with that. You know, unless you're wrapped up on uh, everybody that's watching and whatnot. Then I can see why. I I knew I wouldn't get through that. And I'm about to get hit again. Oh, I did it. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness, those guys are kind of hard to see. Well, when I'm turboing through this. That is. Oh, I need to save. Oh, I dropped some frames at some point, too. That just great. the staring contest. How was that a surprise attack? Oh yeah, I wanted to equip that Septium vein on somebody. I think it's gonna be you. So it gives a bunch of that stuff. He is basically my kill everything guy. Already looted this chest. Might uh, you might have you might have might have forgotten, but don't think you can just come waltzing back and apologize. I think we uh, reached uh, another typo there. I don't think that's supposed to be there. I'm expecting, like, at least one more treasure chest. I guess not. Oh my goodness, there's chickens. And here's the wolf fort. Really peaceful here. I guess we don't need to worry about Calvard invading us and stealing our puppies or something, huh? Quite the uh, difference compared to Hack and Gate. Of course, unlike my glorious fatherland, Calvard and Liberal are easy friends. And Erebonia has done nothing to deserve different. I imagine our relationship with Calvard has something to do with it, although... Beyond the Gate is a mountain pass that would be difficult for a full army to pass through. That's why the gate is so small, uh, as well as I recall. Yes, 
far different from the Hocken Gate, which faces into a great open road. The heck's with the chickens, though. It's embarrassing. Whatever. Let's get to asking some questions. We should probably say hi to whoever's in charge first. Right. Pickles! You got it. like you can only get get it once. Wish I knew that in the first game. Not that it would have mattered. Mal Magma Roast. Magma. How's it going? If you want to pass through, we will do the processing on the other side. Don't blah blah blah. How much does it cost to sleep here? Oh my God. Oh! Maybe every time you just walk inside, you can get it. And hey, what's up, dog? Ah, you're the bracers the guild called ahead about, right? Here to investigate the earthquake from what Miss Killica said on the phone. Yeah, that's right. Wow, I keep forgetting how uh, thorough Kilika is. He even keeps us on our toes every now and then. Anyway, we'll do everything we can to help. Cheers. Start with, how about you explain how the earthquake went down? Well, let's see. The earthquake happened three days ago at roughly 1700 hours. The quake itself wasn't all that strong. Ugh. Uh, and it only lasted tenth. <clears throat> 10 seconds. Still, though, earthquakes rarely ever happen around here. Some of my men are spooked, let me tell you. The part that spooked me, though, once I contacted command at Layston Fortress to report. They told you that no other part of the region had experienced an earthquake, yes? Exactly right, miss. Uh, and it wasn't just Layston. Even Sanctheim uh, gate didn't feel anything, and they're practically up the darn road. I called in to Zeiss and Elmo, and they'd felt nothing either. Like Kilika said. Speaking of which, did you hear uh, there was an earthquake in Zeiss today? Yeah, I heard about that. And that's the thing. We didn't feel so much as a wobble here. Localized earthquakes that only strike small, specific areas. Not what I would call the most natural thing in the world. Well, that covers the quake. Anything else happened that caught your attention aside from that? Like, did you see anyone strange? No, I heard no meaningful reports from my men. Possible they saw something so minor they didn't feel the need to report it to me immediately, though. Feel free to ask them some questions, maybe jog their memories a bit. Sure, thanks, sir. Go talk to the gate guards. That sounds like a horrible idea. Give me your eggs. <laughs> Sup? <laughs> A fantastic soldier you are. Alright, we're dropping frames again. Uh, we're from the Bracer Guild. Hope we're not disturbing you, but could you answer some questions? Sure. Uh, about the earthquake. Odd things. Uh, checking the light blocking abilities of my hat when the quake hit. Uh, or he was checking. Uh, I thought the chief was yelling at me at first, but no, I didn't see anyone around. I mean, I thought it was a prank at first, not an earthquake. It wasn't really all that strong. This is as much of a strange occurrence as it is an admission that you're an that you're awful at your job. But to sleep standing, that is a rare skill, Estelle. I, however, can consume an entire full course meal while asleep on a sofa. Why the heck are you trying to brag about that? Was there anything else you can remember at all? Actually, Henning said he saw something weird, but... Something weird? Well, this was the day before the earthquake, mind you. One of the other guards here, Henning, uh, asked if anyone passed through the gate. When I told him I hadn't seen anyone, he just shook his head. 
Well, that's curious. I wonder what that was about. He might be able to tell us something. Let's go talk to this Henning guy. Well, where's Sokufu Henning? Are you Henning? No. You're Gerwin. Gerwin, you don't have anything. You know how I know? Because... Because you don't have a cutscene. Ah, ha, ha, first try. All right, Henning. Hello, what is it? Hey, we're from the Bracer Guild. We got a couple of questions about that earthquake a few days back. Oh yeah, I gotta say, it was a surprise. First time I've ever been in an earthquake. I had no idea what was going on. So what did you want to know? So the thing is, we talked to Brom and... Um, oh, right, that. Yeah, I did ask him that. Uh, you asked if someone had passed through the gate. Yeah, let me explain. So four days ago, i just finished my watch and was going off duty. Just as I was leaving, though, I saw a weird man coming up the road. Weird man? Was it a man garbed in white with a mask, perchance? Mask? No, he wasn't that weird. It was a tall guy wearing a black suit. Uh, he also had these black glasses on. Black glasses? Uh, like black frames or something? No, that's the thing. The lenses were stained dark. Huh, wouldn't that mean you couldn't see in front of you? Wait, I've heard of those, called sunglasses, I think. <laughs> They're made to block strong sunlight. And you can still see through them, apparently. I have heard of them, but I rarely see them. The only prominent user of them I know of is the leader of the greatest criminal cartel in the capital of the Empire. Well, that sounds cheery. I wonder if I know who that is. More to the point, how exactly do you know someone like that, Olivier? As they say, it takes a monster to best understand a monster. Sunglasses, huh? Anyway, just before I went, went on break, I saw him coming up the road. Most of the travelers who pass by here stop stopping at the bar, so I figured I'd see him inside. I take it he didn't? Yeah, that's the thing. He didn't show, so I asked Brahm, and he said nobody passed through. And he's a lazy slob, but he ain't so bad at his job uh, that he'd let a stranger pass through without checking. Perhaps he had business at your barracks. You may have spoken to your commander, for example. But yeah, I was pretty curious at that point and asked the commander. And he said nobody been uh, been in there during that time period either. Well, I have to wonder what happened to that guy I saw. Doesn't seem like he came through. Okay, uh, this is really suspicious. We should tell Kilika about this. Yeah, no question. Thanks for sharing all this with us. My pleasure. Feel better having gotten it off my chest. Sure you do. Still not done investigating. We should question everyone around. What? 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 I didn't see anything. Who else is there? You say the commander? Didn't we already talk to the commander? Hello again, were my men helpful? Actually, yeah. Man on the sunglasses. The heading saw a suspicious man. Hard to think he was something or he has something to do with the earthquakes, but he sounds suspicious regardless. I'll report this to command at Layston at least. Yeah, thanks. Alright, think that about wraps it up. Let's get back to Kilika and tell her what we know. Alright. That was pointless. Bahaha. Unlimited eggs. Hey, you lot. Good, I made it in time. What do you mean, sir? Has something happened? 
I contacted Layston about what we talked about previously and heard something surprising. I figured it was up to me to let you all know. Surprising what now? Wait, don't tell me. Yeah. There was just an earthquake at the same time gate. What? Hearing this, Estelle's group rushed to the same time gate. Sorry about the noise. Uh, what the heck is with you fool bracers? Can't you see when they're in the middle of a cleanup after the earthquake? If you have to nose around, I'd prefer you do it later. Man, check yourself. Sorry, sir, but this is our job. We don't get in the way of the clean... <clears throat> we won't get in the way of the cleanup. Do you mind if we do a little questioning? HQ had an order that I'd tell you lot to clear out. I've got some urgent business to take care of. You can get the details from my second-in-command, Warren... Uh, Warrant Officer Talbot. He's in the storage area over there, cleaning up. And we'll talk to him, thanks. You can make darn sure you don't interfere with any actual work going on here. Now, if you'll excuse me. Fuckers. Whoa, it uh, really is kind of bad in here. Do you think we should help out a little? I mean, just to be friendly. To be honest, I'd keep your hands to yourself. This is a military facility, remember. There might be secret documents or something scattered around uh, that we aren't supposed to see. Oh uh, yeah, good point, I guess. Still, this is quite a bit more damage than the city of Zeiss earthquake, isn't it? That didn't cause nearly as much of a mess. The ferocity of the quake should be a primary line of inquiry, then. As well as asking about our mystery man. Yeah, that guy in the sunglasses. Well, first things first, let's talk to the second-in-command guy. This is just a disaster. Oh. This is going to be such a pain to clean up. Bill will have my hide if it isn't done by nightfall, though. Excuse me, sorry to disturb you. And you are? They introduced themselves and investigating the earthquake. Thanks for the concern, even if Dale doesn't share my thanks. You want to know what the situation was like when the earthquake happened, right? Uh, yeah, and as much detail as you can give us. Understood. The earthquake began at roughly 1300 hours, two hours ago. The earthquake lasted around 30 seconds and was strong enough to knock down a big piled up boxes. Wait, so compared to the quake at the Wolf Fort... Oh. Yes, the entire earthquake was worse, stronger, and la longer lasting. Huh. Like, uh, like a certain gum out there. Uh, then there was the one in the city. That fall about in the middle, I guess. Meaning then that the quakes are getting more powerful each time. That's uh, kind of bad, isn't it? Situation does seem to be worsening. But these are natural occurrences. I don't see how we could stop them. I don't suppose the Bracer Guild has any ideas. We're not really sure yet, but we're uh, pursuing a few leads. Speaking of which, did anything weird happen before or after the earthquake? Like were any suspicious people walking around? Suspicious people? Come to think of it, Chesley mentioned something about a strange man yesterday. He's cleaning the roof, if you want to hear the details from him. Chesley on the roof, right? Thanks. Thanks for helping out, sir. Not at all. Good luck. Good luck. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. The actually clean, though. This guy didn't fall off. Boy, that was scary. I almost fell. Who are you guys? You're Private Chesley, right? We're with the Bracer Guild. Mind if we ask you about the earthquake that happened a little bit ago? Ask them if he saw any suspicious man? Yeah, that guy from yesterday. I don't know if he has anything to do with the earthquake, but I saw a tall man with black sunglasses around. I knew it. How do you know they're sunglasses? 
Uh, it must be the same man seen at the Wolf Fort. Sir, did you see what this man was doing? Well, he seemed like a kind of a tourist, really. Looked at the scenery for a bit, then came down. He sort of caught my attention since you don't see glasses like his often. He didn't, uh, he didn't say anything to me and walked off, though. I didn't have a chance to talk to him. Okay, did anyone else see this guy, maybe? No, that's where it gets weird thinking about it. I brought it up. I brought the guy up at dinner since he was kind of weird, but practically no one, nobody else even saw the guy. The only one who remembered seeing him was Tammy, who works in the mess hall. Unlike the Wolf Fort, this, uh, this gate sees quite a bit of, of traffic, and yet despite this, there are only two witnesses. How wonderfully spooky. More reason to see what that girl has to say. Said Tammy's in the mess hall, right? Thanks, Chesley. You were a big help. No problem. And yeah, uh, she should be in the mess hall. Good luck with your investigation. Good luck with your cleanup. Boo. This is a uh, unnecessarily, unnecessarily lengthy. I'll clean again, thank the goddess. Hey, you're Tammy, right? We're from the Bracer Guild. Mind if we ask you a couple of questions? Oh, him, yeah. Passed by him on the second floor in the hallway yesterday. I think he was coming down from the roof. That would match what our soldier friend said, yes. Did you exchange any words when you passed? Well, I did say hello. He just kind of grinned in response and said, yo. Ooh, just thinking about it makes me all tingly again. He was so wild. Wild? So what, like a gate here? What's that supposed to? This guy was a bit taller than your friend. He had uh, this dark suit, but opened really casually at the chest, right? He looked amazing in it. Oh, and he was wearing a pair of black gloves, I think. I don't think I know who this guy is. So sunglasses, a dark suit, and black gloves. Right. This guy might as well sign on his, or have a sign on his head saying, I am sinister, be suspicious of my evil ways. Well, I wouldn't say suspicious. He just had a scent of danger about him. You know, that dangerous tough guy charm, right? Right, anyway. So you just passed by and said hi and didn't see him afterward, right? Yeah, unfortunately. I um, chased after him a little bit. Uh, I thought we could uh, get to know each other or anyway. I lost track of him in a weird way. Weird way? How so? It'll be easier to show you. Follow me. Excuse me, Sanders. Can I step out for a moment? Yeah, go ahead. Let's get back before the dinner rush. This is where I passed him, right here. He went walking in this direction. I turned to follow him after a moment. I figured I'd chat with him, right? Okay. When I turned, I saw that door over there closing. So I thought, he must have stepped out. Here's my chance to talk to him before he leaves. So I followed him, but... Ooh. cleaned up those boxes. By the time I screwed up my courage and came out, he was nowhere to be seen. In other words, I lost him. But I lost him here. Lost, but wait a sec. How is that possible? This is the dead end, isn't it? Yeah, there's no way he could have jumped down from this height, right? I figured I made a mistake and thought he went elsewhere. Looked all, all over Seng time for him, but I never saw him. Kind of makes me want to jump off the end there. I missed my chance. Oh, you poor kitten. It would please you. I could help you forget such lesser men. Knock it off. No one deserves that kind of trauma. Anyway, I think we have a pretty good idea of what happened. Thanks, sorry to drag you out here. You dragged us out here, she needs to apologize. You're welcome. Bum, is he some kind of wanted man? super skilled, cold-blooded assassin on the run from the Bracer Guild? I don't know about that, 
but he's definitely a dangerous guy. Where are you getting that info from, Estelle? Look, if you see him again, don't go near him, okay? Trust me. But he's so cool. Oh well. Anyway, I've got some things to prepare, so excuse me. Keep up the good work, everyone. There's no way he could have jumped down from this height, huh? Estelle, does that remind you of anyone? Yeah. Oh, it could have been him. Nah, I don't think it was him. That silver-haired monster who jumped off the top of Gransel Castle. The man we know as Lawrence. If the other ones are like him, I think they could jump from here and survive. Yeah. Don't think there's any doubt about who our sunglasses guy is now. Another enforcer of Ouroboros. Just like the Phantom Thief, then. No doubt about it. We're definitely done investigating. Let's get back to the Guildhouse. No fast travel. You suck a fool. Here, Mike, eat some Pop Tarts. Mm -hmm. 